Hello everyone, I'm Gary. I'm one of the biggest uh, CSGO traders out there. I've made uh, 40,000 trades over many many years of my, my trading career. And in this video I'm going to share some of the wisdom, some of the knowledge that uh, I've learned, I've gained over the years on finding people to trade with. This is going to be the third, my third video uh, on this topic and we are going to be focusing on finding people to trade with on Steam itself. Now there are basically two places where you can go and advertise for trades on Steam. One of them is the official trading forum. You can find it at uh, steamcommunity.com uh, slash app slash uh, 730 slash trading forum but uh, you know it's uh, URL hard to, hard to memorize and uh, the way I usually find it is that I go to the activity feed by hovering over your, your username and clicking activity and finding someone who has done something related to CSGO for example uploaded a screenshot and then you can click that uh, you can click on CSGO and you will find yourself in the community hub and from there on you click on discussions and uh, trading and there we are it's uh, it's the official trading forum discussion uh, for trading CSGO items now there are some other ways you can uh, find this for example if you go uh, to your profile and search for counter-strike then there will be some links to that same uh, what is it called it's not the store page because this this is a community hub yeah so again you can click discussions and uh, find it through that or if none of these uh, works for you you can just uh, go to the steam store um, search for csgo and from here you can uh, go to the community hub and there we are again so I've, i'm pretty sure there are more ways to find it but these are three i showed you now we are at the trading forum and you can uh, start a new discussion if you want to post a trade like this but uh, first let's take a look at one of uh, an example uh, discussions now there is a guy who posted 10 minutes ago he has uh, age in brackets means have uh, set to suffer mesh and he wants uh, basically offers something something else now that you can see that there are people commenting uh, that they want to train perhaps edit him and uh, you can start your own discussion let's uh, take a look at how that works now you probably want to uh, give it a title of something informative so people click on it. It should not be a clickbait or a lie but um, you want to put it uh, put what you have in there. So you can see that these are some of the old titles that I have used uh, when posting these discussions. Uh, I have not done this uh, in a while because I'm getting enough offers without posting here as, as well but uh, yeah let's just use this as an example now say something what you definitely want to include here is your trade link um you can google how to find your trade link for example i, I have mine on my profile i can just copy that and uh, put it in here and of course you have uh, items that you want to trade and uh, you can put an age in there and list your items now if you have many items or perhaps you want to trade all your items all of them are up, up for trade then uh, listing them manually can be quite uh, slow and it's a waste of time and that's why i've added uh, generate list of inventory items feature to my extension a while ago so let me uh, show you how i do that now by default uh, all, all on the default uh, settings if you click generate the list is going to be copied to your uh, clipboard and when I paste it there is a giant list of my items let me go to the top now you can see the full 
you can see the name of the item and the exterior by default and if uh, I have multiple of them then there is an X and the number of duplicates this is the default configuration now the problem is that uh, I have so many items that I if I added all this info then the text would be too long and I would not be able to uh, put it in there I mean I can paste it but it won't let me actually post the discussion because it's too long so example for if you have a lot of items or you want to customize it let me show you how to do that you probably want to leave the delimiter as it is you might want to shorten the exterior though you can include the price if you want but that would make it uh, longer if you have a shorter num if you have uh, fewer items and you want to be more informative you can include the tradability and um, again you can if you have multiple and have um, have plenty of um, you, you don't have that many items so you have space to uh, post then you can include the duplicates I'm gonna do that now and uh, well you probably don't want to include non marketable because non marketable items are usually untradable but whatever and selected only is not for this you can also choose the uh, sorting I I do most expensive uh, to cheapest and I think that makes the most sense but for example you could do alphabetic as well so now if I click generate and go back to notepad you can see that uh, it looks quite different now so the order is alphabetical so we are seeing a bunch of AKs here uh, again the name is here but the exterior is shortened now it includes the price and when the item becomes tradable so let's uh, take this list let's say that this is the list of items you have and uh, let's put it in there yeah quite a long list so trade link have so a list of items you have and you of course want to include in the in the w in brackets what you are looking for for example I'm looking for cash or downgrades let's say I usually uh, do a, sh a longer form text a couple of sentences of what I'm looking for it's usually an elaborate way of uh, saying that I'm trading for profit and I want profit but yeah you might want something specific and now I think it won't let me post it because well, the error is not specific enough, but I know why. It's because the list is just too long. Uh, if we cut, uh, let's say, the lower half off, I think now it might be possible. Still too much. Let's only do these. And now, oh, still. Probably the tradability is taking up a, long, a lot of space. So now I actually managed to post the trade discussion and if I wanted to I could just include the rest of the items in here. I'm going to close it because uh, this is not how I do it anymore. It was just an example. So I sh so far I showed you the trading, uh, how to post a trade on the trading forum and how to generate an a list of items uh, to post. Now, if you're looking for something uh, specific in here, you can just enter it in the search. So, let's say Bowie Knife Forest, Borea Forest, and uh, it should return some results. 25 minutes ago, someone posted, actually it's a butterfly knife. So, the search is not perfect, but uh, looks like, no, it's again. <laughs> It's a Karambit Boreal, not a Bowie Boreal. But now, here it is, 56 minutes ago, someone posted that they have 11 knives, and one of those is the Bowie knife Boreal Forest. So you can just click on that and contact the person, send them an offer. If you include uh, your trade link, it will be automatically 
add it like this, a simple nice button to offer a trade, like this. Now the other th uh, place where you can post your trades at is uh, trading groups. Now there are dozens of trading groups, I'm going to show you a couple, uh, starting with mine. You can. Uh, it's gonna be the, it's gonna look the same on each and every one of these groups you go to the discussions uh, start a new discussion similar to the uh, the one in the trading forum and let's just do an example post here now what's different here is uh, you you are going to see CSGO trader auto bump this post it, this is a feature again of my extension of uh, CSGO Trader, you can get it at CSGO Trader app. And if you click this uh, checkbox, you, you check this checkbox and leave the page open, then it's going to refresh the page periodically. I think it's uh, 30 minutes, every 30 minutes. And it's going to comment uh, bump. And if there are, if there are uh, similar bump comments from before, it's going to delete that. So it should. Uh, put your discussion, your post, always up to the top. And that's how the feature works, basically, it's pretty simple. I'm not, I don't wanna do that right now, so... And I think I'm just going to delete the thread, because it, it was on, only an example. So, this is my trading group. I originally created it uh, so people can contact me through different ways than my Add by add than by adding me on Steam because uh, I have a limited event uh, friends friend slots. Uh, it's two thousand. I'm, I'm always very close to that. Only four uh, empty right now. So this is my trading group. You can post your uh, trades in the discussions, and I'm going to show you a couple of others. There is a. Uh, there is one called Inventory Traders uh, with close to 20,000 users. Looks like, yep, the uh, comments in the main page are allowed here, so you can basically post your trades here as well. As you can see, some people do pretty frequently every couple of minutes. Now, here, uh, comments can have a much stricter limit on the length of the comment than discussions. So you probably want uh, something more simple, not a whole list of your items, because that would be too long, but you definitely want to include your trade link here as well. And um, I advise against posting multiple times. You, you could be banned from my group if you do that, if you post the same thing multiple uh, times in a row while it's still up here. So don't do that in my group, it, it might be allowed in others. There is a, a much bigger group called Traders Guild. I will be linking to these in the description, by the way, so you don't have to Google them or search for them. You can just go to the description and click click the link. And it has over 50,000 members. It has a bunch of rules. You might want to read through that. And uh, the comments are also allowed here, you can do uh, similar discussions that I showed you, you can turn on auto bumping here as well. And uh, there is a, an even bigger one called CSGO Trading with over 100,000 uh, users. It's quite active and again you can do uh, comments and both comments and discussions here. You might know uh, CSGO Launch, it was uh, a great trading site, but it's gone now, yet it, uh, yet the Steam group remains, and you can basically do the same, uh, post comments or discussions. Similarly, uh, with CSGO Traders, it's a smaller group, but yeah, comments are disabled here, but I think you can post discussions here as well, yeah, as many other people do. And for the last one, it's it's a pre pretty big one as well. It's called Trade Marketplace with over 100,000 members. You can do your comments, discussions, whatever. So yeah, these are the places basically where you can advertise for trades. Actually, I missed something, but that's also related to groups. Let me look that up. 
if you join some of these groups then you can enter the chat and as you can uh, see in the group chat you can also post your trades like this have want and include trade link and you can see that people do this in my trading group right now now there are some indirect ways that you can use to get more trades and I'm going to show you some of that real quick and you can see that I have a level 350 on Steam and that is not because of vanity it's actually pretty practical it's for pretty practical reasons one of them is that you can see that when you visit someone's profile the high level people will be on top so for example I don't know, let's uh, find someone that I've traded with recently, for example this guy and if he is on my friend list, right, then I'm showing up in the list of friends close to the top. So if you, are, if you have a lot of friends and you are uh, high level, you will be showing up on many profiles and some people will click that and find you. Now, again, if you have a higher level, you can accept more friends. I've, I've maxed it out. 2000 is the max you can have. So if you do trades, uh, just let people add you, accept them and have them on your friend list. They might return to trade again and people can find you through their uh, friend list as well. So you always want to max out your friends if you want to do more trades. Now, let's go back to that guy's profile. The problem is that it's, it wasn't the first time that we traded. Let's try someone else. I don't think it was... Probably this guy. Yep, so two, two hours ago we traded and you can see that I have posted this reputation comment on his profile. Now, this is a good way to thank people that uh, you are grateful for the trade it is also useful um, that people can easily find you if they want to come back and trade with you if, even if they are not on your friend list and other people will click you occasionally as well if they see your plus rep comment especially if you make it as nice as mine uh, nice and visible you can see this plus rep button, it's also a feature of my extension. You can go to the options and profile and on here set your reputation message. Now you see mine is uh, looks like gibberish, it's because I have many of these emoticons in here that to make it look bright and visible. But you can create your own or I don't know, copy some parts of mine. You can buy these emoticons on the market. And that's uh, basically what I wanted to show you today. This, these are some of the ways that you can find people to trade with on Steam. Now, if you want to support me, you can find the link to Skin Port and CSGO Float. These are real money markets and you can buy skins through them for cheaper than on market, on the Steam market and support me a bit. You won't be charged more for supporting me, but uh, I will take a bit of, bit of the commission that the site takes. Now, thanks for watching and do subscribe if you haven't. I will be releasing similar videos soon and I will be doing my usual morning harvest. I will keep doing those as well. Thanks for watching and bye.